Hey guys, Drag Reviews. Today we're looking at another blind box and praying that we get Leo. I did cut the tape, haven't opened it yet though, so I'm praying that I'll get lucky. Please. No way. I actually got it. Yes! I spent a lot of money on this core and I was really hoping it wasn't just gonna go to waste, so. Okay, these wheel parts are very important, I know that. So this one can go here for now, and this one goes here. I think this is for when you use this gimmick, which I'll probably use most of the time since it's sort of fun. And these just roll. Okay, then these emblems are sick. It's pretty cool. Headpiece, also very cool. It's a really cool headpiece. Uh, here's this core. You have to buy this separately. Um, if you want his gimmick to work. This is very old. You can see the, uh, here it is, the plastic's turning yellow. So here's the core. It's already assembled for you. It has this gimmick where you can see it shoots pretty much for you. Um, let's bring this up. Here's the trigger pad, a very cool trigger pad. This is like a one of a kind, kind of one. They don't really make any of these. Here's all those bolts out. And I'm so happy I got this. Put this back here. Okay, so just put all the stickers on. Very happy to see, I hate putting stickers on even though they make it look better. There was barely any for this. Most of them went on the head. Uh, very easy to put on. So put this guy together just loosen that up I've wanted this guy for I know he's not like very good or he's not supposed to be at least but these gimmick beat him on are just a lot of fun to play with so and this guy has a bunch of cool features and he just looks really cool in general so If you guys ever have the chance to get this one, I would definitely recommend it. So that goes there. There. Let me know your guys' opinion in the comments about this. Jeez. And uh, you probably I think I'm gonna make a short about this today, but I'm not gonna be able to upload the video for a while because I already have a ton before this. Here's the, it's not very grippy on here, but you can get the idea. This guy did not come with a marble too, so it's, it can't shoot by itself. Anymore. So, I wonder if you can just shoot it. And then emblems, I think you push. Oh, you, oh, this is cool. So they activate when you pull them back, so it's like the claws are opening, kind of. So let's try that now. So emblems. Yeah, it's definitely, it's actually pretty powerful. Let's do a power test. So we're going to be doing it with and without emblem charge. This is without. Pretty good. Uh, I think I moved it a little when I was turning it, but halfway. And this is with emblem charge. There. So definitely was a little more powerful. Uh, I know you can't really tell from that. I'm going to set up the targets, and then we are going to shoot them, I guess. Okay, so very quick, quickly, this guy is definitely growing to be one of my favorites already. I was shooting him a little off camera. Um, let's, I want to show his stats. So right here, it's very hard to see. Seven and a half power, 4.5 control, and three rapid fire. So definitely a power type. Uh, the stats don't, on the box, don't really live up to this, but he definitely performs pretty well. Uh, let's just use the buy magazine and slide you guys over. Oh, 
Let's use emblem charge. You can't actually shoot someone fast. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's actually pretty powerful. It doesn't work. It's definitely not very accurate. So the accuracy part and the rapid fire part, I would switch. But if you if they switch that on the box. Even though you're not really supposed to, because this has teeth right there that go onto the wheel part. That's how this moves. Like it has to be sitting down for it to move. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the most you do. That is sort of how people would do it with the bison. And that actually worked pretty well. So I'm sorry, I lost a marble down over here. Um, I'm going to clean that up and then we're just going to do brake bomb, I guess. Okay, here is the brake bomb. See, yeah, you guys can see that. Marbles. I actually have that in there. So, this guy, like I said before, he's definitely better with his rapid fire. This guy definitely lacks some control, mainly because you have to move it when you're shooting on the air. You have to. You can see he's not very powerful with the emblem charge. But you also have to keep in mind that most people don't play on a pool table. The emblems definitely make a big difference. He also loses more control than I, I would think. Let me just try. So you can't shoot him without the uh, those back wheels moving, which is nice. I mean, oh, don't get ruins at all, so. This guy would definitely be fun to just uh, mess around and play with. Let's try this out again. Oh. Last one. I'll use emblem charge for this one. Look at that. First shot. Okay, let me clean that up quick. Okay, so overall, if you can find this guy, definitely get it. He is one of those cases where the gimmick does work, but it doesn't work every time. And it's not really like you can make it work when you want to it's sort of just when it feels like it i know that sounds weird i think these actually can go back here they're supposed to go somewhere else and i think i think there's another spot you're supposed to be able to put them but i don't really remember where or maybe i'm just losing my mind i don't know. does it show that on this box yeah it does i don't know but overall, yeah, awesome beat em on. Tons of fun to play with. And I would definitely recommend them. I'll probably upload a short video, like I said, so you'll probably see this before the actual review. But I guess that's really all I had for today. So this is Drager Buse signing off.